Okay. Very well. Okay. Thank you, Verinda. Okay. Okay. I, I'm Larry Willette, the uh, chairman of the Home Inspection Licensing Board, and I'm calling to order our quarterly meeting um, of the board. It is 1135. So um, our first, uh, first item will be to review the minutes that we received from February 22nd and from March 15th. Does, has everyone had a chance to look those over? Any? I didn't, I didn't see any issues. Any comments? Okay. Um, the only question I had was, um, hang on a second. Yep. Yeah, it was on page five of the March 15th meeting and it was under section 491.10 interior uh, and C where the inspector shall report on. And number three says the location of warning equipment indicated by a description of the room the equipment is in and the location within such room. All right, so um, we had actually changed that and um, I mean, the minutes are correct. That's how we discussed it, but we subsequently had changed that. And the way it reads now is that, um, hang on a second. Where was that, Larry? It's on it page was, four. It's on, it's on page four. Four. Of the March okay, 15th four. All right, all right. meeting. I thought you said page five. Okay. He did, he did say five. Oh, minutes. did I? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, it was changed. And, and my last revision that I received from Cynthia on page three, again, 491 Ted Interior, C3 now says the location of warning equipment indicated by description of the room or space the equipment is in. So, so like I say, the minutes are correct, but we did change that so that you know, now we're not, we're not required to say, um, you know, it's, it's in the bedroom or we will say that it's maybe in, in a upper level front corner bedroom or something, but we don't have to say it's near the door. It's near the window. It's wherever it is in the room. Okay. So we, we do not, you know, as far as the newest revision. Um, so I just wanted to make that clear. Um, I had no other comments about the minutes. Do we have a motion to accept the minutes from? Um, I make a motion to accept. February 22nd it. and March 15th. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. I, I'll second it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll approve. Aye. Aye. Okay. Larry? Uh, yes. Larry? Yes. So that motion, okay, it was Bruce and then followed by Rich for both minutes? For both. Oh, yeah. For both minutes. Okay. okay. For both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Both sets yeah. of minutes. Okay. Okay. So those are accepted. Okay. Um, so do we have any comments or concerns from anybody today? Just at the start of the meeting, but Bruce brought that up and Bob says that's was it just an issue just one time, so. Oh, 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 about the 1130. Okay, I came in a bit after that. I, I had that I had that yeah. listed here as something to discuss, but that's already been covered? It's gonna be at 930. Okay, good. Yeah, I, believe, I believe the next meeting should be 930. It was, there was a, um, the engineering board uh, had claimed that slot at, at nine. So yeah. uh, Barbara, the administrator for that board asked if I would, We've done that in the past occasionally. I moved the, I took the next slot at 1130, the yeah. Zoom slot. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is the I second be, I time. Our next, I believe our next meeting is going to be at 930. I'll confirm that, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this would be the second time that it's been at 1130. And I'm afraid right. we're going to, we're going to lose members because it's right in the middle of our day, right. kind of. Right. So, all I, right, I all right. So that's, getting a spot, so. okay. yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, so um, the DCP investigation division, do we have anything um, from those folks today or I don't see anyone on the meeting. Uh, you know, Larry, I got an email from Janita. She will not be attending. Uh, she was, uh, has another, uh, another commitment, 
but there was no uh, no new and complaints to report. She she reported to me, and she also stated that you know none of the uh, there were, there was no complaints closed and no new complaints to report at this point. Okay. All right. Okay. So there was no no report to issue, um, but she did tell me that she would not be at the, at the meeting today. Okay. Now I had a question um, about the investigation process, and and I um. I don't know, should we wait till they're on board with a meeting or should I ask the question so that it's in our minutes or what do you think, Bob? Um, you could certainly ask the question. I, I won't, wouldn't be able to answer that or I could, I'll do my best, but it, it could be in the minutes, sure. Okay, Absolutely. okay. Um, it's an well, investigation it, question, Larry, or is it yeah, a legal Yeah, question? it's, it's so, sort of an investigation question. Sometimes um, inspectors will get a letter uh, from an attorney who's representing a previous buyer um, and they state their complaint and so on and what they intend to do, but they haven't filed a complaint with consumer protection. And so um, as an inspector, let's just say this happens to me, but I, I review the complaint and I, and I find that, uh, you know, I don't think I did anything wrong. I did my job, I followed the regs, et cetera. Now, can the inspector request uh, an investigation um, uh, from the department um, and say, and if we can, then that investigation, you know, unravels and shows that, that yeah, the inspector followed the rules, he didn't do anything wrong. And then that becomes, if it does get pursued by this home buyer, then that becomes you know, um, a positive piece of evidence for the inspector. So, so can a home inspector uh, request an investigation if if the uh, if the attorney for the buyer has not made a complaint with the department? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Larry, and start the process? Even though you may think you're correct, it's going to open up an investigation, and maybe you did something wrong. Why don't you just wait till somebody makes a complaint and then if you were in the right you're in the right well it just seems to me like having you're saying that that investigation would occur later no i'm saying let's say you think you did nothing wrong yeah and it hasn't been reported to the state yeah. once you start reporting things to the state now you're on record as having a an issue it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong it's that you've been involved in an issue yeah. Well, I just, on the other hand, if you have a document saying that you did nothing wrong and they go ahead and sue you, it just seems like that document would be a supporting document in your case. That, Larry, I'm, I think, oh, I think Tim, you brought this up. Didn't you, Tim, as a question? You're muted, Tim. Is Tim with us? He's muted. Okay. Tim, you have to unmute. All right, we can't get to him. Bob, you can unmute him. Let me see. Ask to unmute. So Larry, you're, you're yeah. saying that it it's, it's a positive piece of information that if you ever went to court, right. that you could use in your court case. In your, defense, right? muted. in your defense. He's still muted. I, I don't see. I, I've got him unmuted. I don't know. Yeah, he he's got to turn up his volume or something. He's not. We're not hearing him. <laughs> Larry, how many? How, how long have you been doing this home inspection thing? How many years? Thirty-five. And have you ever gone to court? Um. No. No. Well, not not in defense of myself. No. Yeah, so we're about 40 years. We're 40 years into this. And anything that I think what we ever brought up, there was one that happened 35 years ago. And then we realized that we don't want to ever go to court. And then one came into small claims and we ended up deciding we're going to represent ourselves. And we went in and defended ourselves. And so in 40 years, I can remember going to court of small claims once and full court, you know, once. Um, I don't know. 
you know, yeah. I, I don't know. I think that that's worth yeah. really thinking about. Well, I, I think that, my, I guess the question is, you know, does the inspector have the ability to request an investigation? It, does, it, it doesn't mean it has to be done. It seems like it's maybe an individual's, uh, an inspector's, you know, choice to make if, if it's possible. Well, we could certainly, you put it on record, and I think when they attend next time, we'll see what they say. Yeah, I, I think, Tim, I wish I could get Tim in here because he asked me about it and I, he had a case that was directly related. Um, uh, you mean it went to, it never went to the state and he thought he-, he I think so, yeah. I don't want to say too much about it because I can't remember, but you know, he, he would, of yeah. course. Yeah, so let's hold up a sign. Hold up a sign and say, "Tim, unmute," because I can see him. Tim, I, I did ask him to unmute. Please talk. Tim, can you me. hear us? Shake Tim your head if you can hear us. Somebody. Well, we can't hear you. Yeah. All right. He's talking to someone. Yeah. You know, right. if you're uh, connected to those earbuds, Tim, you might need to disconnect those and use the internal mic on your computer. Maybe. Larry, what if... happens is if you let's say you, you, you go to court right. and you you know you think you did nothing wrong, you know, chances are what your attorney is going to tell you is that you're going to have to get your own expert witness, like another home inspector or somebody, yeah, to, to state that you followed the standards. Well, yeah, I mean that's fine, but having that come from the department, I think, is a supporting thing too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, I don't know. Again, I think we ought to wait till we hear from the, you know, they're, yeah. they're in attendance and we'll ask the question. It will all be up to the judge anyway. I mean, they, they, yeah. they, the way they look at stuff, they might just say, hey, we don't care. Yeah, you're yeah, absolutely maybe. right. You know, maybe, you know, you, you're 100% correct because you go oh, to yeah. court and it, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a crapshoot. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't know where you're going to go and doesn't matter if you're right or wrong it could go in any direction oh yeah especially small claims no question so so yeah. you're both, most people stay out of court and they negotiate it through that's why yeah. you know, between yeah. you and me and having a well I, i'm case. just saying that if you have a, a document from the from the investigator showing that you did nothing wrong and you present that to the client and you're not in court yet you yeah. just say, look, we didn't do anything wrong. And here's the department that regulates us. And they're saying we did nothing wrong. That may call them off. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, you know, we're not in court now, but I'm just saying maybe that would be helpful in, in calling them off. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Let's just ask the questions. Here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. Let's move on then to uh, old business. We had an update on the status of revisions of the home inspector regulations. So um, I don't know that we have anyone to speak on about that. We had, uh, uh, we had a document that Bob sent to us and saying where the where the regs are now in the process. Right. That can that Cynthia asked Cynthia was not able to attend today. She had other uh, legal issues going on with the department. Yeah. Uh, she did ask me to forward that email to you. So that that's where the regulations are at this point. Right. Okay. Right. They're still with OPM, the Office of Policy and Management. They haven't been put to their website yet for public comment. Uh, okay. When they do, she will advise the board immediately. So that, okay. that was her, that was, you know, her, if you have any questions you want to ask her, you could certainly email her, but that's the latest information she has. Can you okay. clarify, Bob, for me? when the regulation comes into effect and and right now what a home inspector is supposed to be reporting on at this point the change the revisions you made are not in effect they're still in the room so what you go by is what's what's codified what's printed right now right that's the everything everything that the board has talked about is a proposed revision and that that is not in effect yet right. and so, what was the date that this was supposed to be when it started when the when the regulations go into when when the new regulation about the smoke detectors when when it goes through the if and when it goes through the, completes the, the approval process oh so, so it's not even where it's not it it's had it didn't it's get approved and then we're rewording it it's just not approved yet correct well, it's a long way from approval it just started it just started right. the okay. process. 
So, right. we'll, so no home inspectors required to to report on any of that stuff at this point. No, that's correct. No, nothing, yeah. nothing that's been discussed. None of the revisions are in place yet. They're just a draft at this point. Right. Beginning yeah, the Bruce, approval process. Yeah, Bruce, that came up uh, at a at the law seminar um, that we had back in whenever January or February. The attorney that was presenting the seminar, he he thought that the 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 legis or the regulations uh, with the smoke detector should they were passed in July of of uh, I guess twenty one, and he thought that that we should be doing those. Period. That's right. That's what I've heard also. But it, right. All right. All right. That, so that's not correct. Well, it's not because when that came up, I didn't think it was correct, but I said at the meeting that I would investigate. So I checked with Cynthia. She checked with some others as well. Um, and, and it came back that, uh, no, that we're just, we're operating on the, on the regulations that are in writing now and that we don't have to comply with the new regs until they're actually approved. And so I, I said that to, um, I think it showed up in one of the Kahi newsletters or something, but we uh, we did try to get that word out that uh, you know we're not required to follow the new regs until they're approved. So did that's where we stand. Teaching the course. Say again. Did you did you tell the guy teaching the course? Uh, I you know I can't remember. I can't remember, Bruce, if I sent them a message or if I didn't. I don't think I did send them the message. Yeah, I, I would send that to them so we don't get misinformation out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can check with uh, with Stan Bajerski and get the guy's name and stuff and, you know, touch base with him. Yeah. All right. But that's where that stands. We did investigate that, and that's what we learned. So we're all okay for now until these things pass. They may change. I mean, we approved them, but they may change. Hopefully, they don't change them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that uh, does that cover our old business? Uh, did anyone have any questions about the regs? It, it is a long process, boy. Um, but uh, if not, we can move on to new business. The only mark I had was the meeting time, and we already covered that. Um, did anyone else have any new business? Are they ever going to go back to in-person meetings, Bob? I haven't. I haven't heard yet, um, Rich. We haven't had nothing official from the, the department. Okay. Can you hear me? Um, okay. Uh, any correspondence? I don't have any uh, items for correspondence. Tim, you were there for a second. I think I. Am I now? Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, you're in. All right. There, Tim. Okay. Well, All, right. Happy, Tim. All right. Good to see you. <laughs> were you able to hear us, Tim? Yeah, I was able to hear everything you were saying. I just couldn't get my mute off, but I did it finally. Okay. Nice hearing you. Yeah. Okay. Everything's well. Okay. Okay. Um, so, do we have any comments or concerns by anybody present today? Guess not. No. No. no? Okay. We Is there any discussion about the? Uh, the legislation on the water testing that when it was sent around i don't remember we ever had any conversation about that um, water testing, Mark? yeah there was a there was a couple of emails that came around regarding the changes to well water testing and uh whether home inspectors would be able to do that uh after october 1st i think where did that that was an email yeah. yeah, there was an email that came out and it was something that when it was proposed and then it was actually signed and approved. So it's it's supposedly oh. going to be going into effect. Mark, where did that come from? Do you know what yeah, no, I, I, I thought it came from our group. Cynthia uh, sent it and it was a couple months ago, I believe. I, I, I never saw it. I don't think so, Mark. I may be wrong, but I didn't get anything from her on it at all. I'll have to go back and look through my emails because I thought for sure that this whole this whole group was uh, copied on it. I don't recall seeing something like that. Me either. No. All right. Hmm. Yeah, if you can find that, Mark, and send it to I the will, group. Uh, yeah, I'll go back and look, and I will get it to the group. Do you know okay. what the issue was? 
so from what I understand, it sounded similar to what they were doing in Westchester, where you were going to have to be either a certified well installer, a lab, or, you know, uh, in that in that vein. Uh, well, but te technically, if you, the, the lab you're working for, you're you are covered under them as a technician. Correct. Because but it, done, it, it made it. And I don't think I was the only one that got this too, because our ASHI group, there was several people that were aware of this and, you know, were, were concerned hmm. about it. So it was sent out to, you know, maybe a wider group than just, just so why, myself. So why'd you find the email and forward it to uh, Bob? I, I will do that. Thank yeah. you. And you didn't happen to check with your lab that you might use or anything like that? I talked to, yeah, the lab I use, I did talk to the owner and, and he wasn't aware, but he said it sounded very similar to what they had done in Westchester a few years ago. Uh -huh. What lab do you use? Um, Aqua Environmental in Newtown. Okay. Tom? Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see what you can find on that, Mark, and send it to the group and see if, uh, you know, what we can learn from it. Huh. Okay. Any other comments or concerns from anybody? No. I think that might do it for today. Do we have a, a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. We have a second? Second. Okay. All approved? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. I think that might do it for us. Okay. All right, guys. All right. Thank good you. To see everybody. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Have a Thank good day attending. Wait, Bob, <laughs> hang on for a second. I want to talk to Bob afterwards. Okay. All right. I'll hang on. I'm going to stop recording. Okay, good. <laughs>